Hey everyone, it's Sandy, and I'm showing you some clear gesso right now that I'm gonna put on this white sheet of paper, 12 by 12 paper that I'm gonna use to create my layout on. Now I'm gonna be using the January Click Kit Club um, kit and it's called tailored made and it's got a lot of the stitch line in it from Amy Tan and so what I was doing was putting some clear gesso on it and then I got some gelatos and I pulled several colors out but the only ones that I'm really going to use is that peach that uh, creamy yellow one and like a pink one and what I'm trying to do is get not get close but kind of use the colors that are in that flower right there that's cut apart that those flowers that you see to the um, upper right hand corner are cut from a 12 by 12 sheet of paper that came in the kit and it is the flora paper and I just cut several of the flowers out and I'm gonna use them on the layout so basically I put the gesso down so that when I put the gelatos I can kind of wet my finger and make the gelatos move a little bit easier and um, I like to use the clear gesso on the white paper because if you use a white gesso it kind of has like a not a dirty tint but like a um I don't know like a little bit of a yellow brown tint to it when it dries and it really shows up so I like using the white gesso better I'm not yeah on the paper so or the clear gesso I'm sorry so anyways that's all I'm doing is rubbing with a little bit of water on my fingertip and just trying to see where I want to um, rub some more so I can use that area to create my background and lay my picture on. And so again, I'm taping on my iPad right now, so it's going slower. So I can't speed it up on Movie Maker. I can only do it on my iPhone and not on my iPad. So anyways, I'm drying it up right here. And then what I'm going to do is I like where it's at right now where the the gesso, not the gesso, I'm sorry, the gelatos are, but I kind of want it to go off the page a little bit and out not to be so much just a circle. So I went ahead and rubbed some more and I'm kind of making it go outwards a bit and I'm liking the way that looks, but then I thought, you know what, it would be cool to put a stencil on top. So this is a Prima stencil that I've had and I've never used it. So I thought I'm gonna get my um, molding paste out and go ahead and put some white down on that background to kind of like just make the flowers pop. I figured I have that flowered stencil. I have the flowers that I cut out from the kit. I'll go ahead and use it. But do you see what's happening as I'm rubbing that um, modeling paste on? What's happening is it's picking up the gesso from behind it and it's turning my modeling paste like that pinky peach color. And I thought Oh, I've messed it up, but then I pulled it off and bam, I love the way it looks. I mean, it is the best happy accident since the cover of my December Daily. And I took some still pictures like this just so you can see it. I love the way this background turned out. I had to change the picture I had in mind, but I don't mind at all because I just love the colors of the gesso that it pulled up. It just did so much for the page. So... I'm going to use that black and white picture of me and my mom right there. And it's so funny because, you know, we're always so critical of our own pictures. Like, um, I know my mom is and I know I am because I know a lot of people are. Because when we take selfies, it's kind of like, ah, my hair looks funny. Oh, I don't like the way I'm smiling. Oh, my glasses are crooked or whatever. And me and my mom are just the same. So I had snapped this picture. We left my mom's on Christmas morning. And I had taken this picture of me and my mom in her kitchen really quickly before we left. Um, we were saying goodbye and stuff. And I snapped this picture. And I just really liked it because we were both smiling. I just love the picture of us. Like we didn't have time to retake it and retake it. I just think the picture turned out great. So I put it in black and white. And that's what I'm going to use right here on my layout. So I went ahead and layered it behind two pieces from the Amy Tan Stitch collection as well that came in the kit. And then I am, I matted my white sheet with a brown piece of paper, but I didn't like the way it looked. So I put some Inca gold all the way around it and that's why it has that gold border. 
So now I'm using these thickers and I thought love life. Like there's a lot of words on there and I knew I wanted to use them, but I wasn't sure. See, I'm, I'm showing you the stitch paper, that, that flora one and how I just cut it out. I had taken a few pictures cause I didn't videotape it of just how I cut out. I fussy cut some of the flowers out. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, but anyways, I put love life down for the title because I don't know. I just think it's so, I just love the relationship that me and my mom have and stuff. And she's just so sweet and so kind all the time. And she just has a love for everyone. That's just, I don't know. It's just her is the best way I can say it. And so I'm going to go ahead and layer these, um, flowers out that I fussy cut and I'm just going to put them around a little bit on the frames. And you know, I usually... I don't know, it usually takes me about 20, 30 minutes to scrap a layout, especially if I know in mind what I want. But this one took me more time because I wasn't expecting that background. And I kind of thought, well, should I lay these flowers down? No, it's too much. I don't know. And I just sat there and I stared at it for a while. But I'm so happy with the end results of this layout. I really, really love it. And it's made me want to use my stencils more on a layout and pull out the gelatos and the ink and the molding paste and all that stuff. So basically I'm just putting them down with some glossy accents and then I'm using my pop dots to kind of pop up some of the sections. And then um, you see that sticker sheet right there? It's from the kit as well and it's from the Amy Tan collection. And I'm gonna pull a few of those stickers off and kind of like put them in the flowers that I fussy cut out. You can't probably see them, but one of them says like, love ya, one of them says, oh, I don't remember, I put like three of them in there. But so you can see that when it says love ya right there in the left hand corner. And these are just, and that one says hello. I put some black twine that, or jute twine that came in the kit as well. And I thought that helped black, uh, bring in the black, you know, from the frame, from the picture. But I just love this one. If y'all have any questions, let me know and I will talk to you later.